So here we have Android Lollipop installed on a Nexus 7 and with a Praetorian applicator connected to Colin's head switch. Right, so first thing we have to do is get this applicator connected to the Nexus device. So we go into your settings. This is a Bluetooth device, so we've got Bluetooth. Switch Bluetooth on, and hopefully this should now find our Praetorian applicator. There it is. So we select Praetorian. now connected okay so let's okay right so we'll go back to the home screen now and into settings again and what we've got to do now is actually enable the on-screen keyboard again because it actually recognizes the applicator as a keyboard so that is switched on there so that's fine. Now we have to go scroll down to the accessibility features. So accessibility, and as we can see there, switch access. So if we go into switch access now, and switch access is turned on, but we'll have to go into the settings, and we want to enable auto scan, right? and then we want to set up a switch so if we go on key combo for auto scanning and assign a key so if we now get colin to hit that's it right it's just hit his switch and that's now come up with key code two so we should be able to press ok now and technically now is that working colin if you hit your switch there we are you see that green dotted line coming around the screen there so what are you going to do for us today, Colin? Show you my photos. You're not your photos. So we've got a slideshow now, I'll be calling. Yes. So how do you go about stopping the slideshow now, Colin? Uh, 
now we go back to the home screen. I think what we've got to do is we've got to wait for it to finish scanning yeah. all the items to then bring up that menu bar. Yeah. Which is which yeah. isn't which isn't brilliant. No. But it works. <laughs> Well, should we do? Should we go? Should we open up some more apps? Now, this is a downside we've found, isn't it, Colin? That <laughs> it's going to scan every single item. What it could really do with doing is scanning a row at a time, and then once Colin chooses the row, it should then scan the items in that row, which would make it a lot faster. We think, don't we, Colin? <laughs> Now one downside, another downside we've found is if we go into Google, let's try going into Google, Colin. Okay. We have found, right, we want to go into Google now and we want to type something in. But we can't. No. Me and Colin cannot find a way to get switch access to scan the keyboard. Now we don't know if this can be done, and we just don't know what we're doing, oh. or whether this is a f oh. uh, yeah downside to switch access. But hopefully that can be improved. Yes. Right then. I think. Are we? Anything else you'd like to show? No. No? No. So. Oh. You got anything to say? Thank you for watching my video on Android on Android Tablet Laptop. Awesome. Right. Thanks for watching. Bye.